the mighty Brent Delta oil rig has reached the end of its life. Now, in a world's first, all 26,000 tons of it is being taken apart on land. The power generation module, which provided electricity to the rig, is the first section to come crashing down. <laughs> oh man. And now the Hartley Pool skyline is now changed. This rig is now on its way to being completely recycled. But in 1973, the rig was the solution to an economic disaster. Anwar Sadat takes up leadership of the Arab crusade against Israel. And in 1973, he orders Egypt to attack. When America supported Israel in the Yom Kippur War against Egypt, Syria, and other Arab states, the Arab coalition responded by drastically cutting the flow of oil. Within months, American gas pumps actually ran dry. A new 55 mile an hour speed limit was introduced to save fuel. There were even calls for rationing. Western powers needed oil urgently. As energy independence became a political priority, countries began looking for oil a lot closer to home. The United States ramped up exploration in the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, Britain discovered its salvation in the North Sea. Liquid gold, call it what you like. Britain now has oil, billions and billions of barrels of it, and has been quietly lapping at the doorstep all the time. It has been estimated that 3% of the world's oil reserves lie beneath the North Sea. All these years, Britain has been sitting beside a fabulous industrial treasure trove. Great Britain has struck it rich. In 1974, Shell Oil commissioned the construction of four massive rigs to cash in on the Bonanza. They wasted no time. By the end of 1978, all four, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta, were up and running in the Brent oil field. From there, in the North Sea, the Brent Delta helped the United Kingdom cash in on more than two billion barrels of oil over its lifetime. Today, there's still money to be made from the rig. Prices fluctuate, but melted down, the scrap is worth around $200 a ton. That's huge! This chunk of rig will be worth up to $200,000 as recycled metal. And there's still more where that came from. It will all help offset the huge cost of safely decommissioning the rig. Piece by piece, this enormous machine is coming down and we're getting closer to the final drop of the whole project the 700-ton drill derrick, the dismantling challenge that will mark the end of this amazing deconstruction. It's taken eight months to dismantle the Brent Delta platform. It once weighed almost 26,000 tons. Less than 10,000 are left. The rest has been recycled. The flare tower is gone. The processing modules vanished with their separation tanks. So is the generator and the accommodation block. But there's still one amazing piece of engineering that remains, the drilling derrick. It's been left until last because it's the rig's center of gravity. Now everything around it has been removed, we can finally pull it down. We brought the rig back to its base. This can go now. We don't yeah. need this now. We're back to the three legs. Now you're making me nervous. I feel like I want to get off this thing because <laughs> I don't want to put too much weight on the side. <laughs> I've seen how the drilling derrick works. Now I want to see how it's constructed. It weighs in at 700 tons, designed to support the huge weight of the drill pipe. 
and to stand up to the worst storms the North Sea could throw at it. On each side of the I-beams is more I-beams, which makes it extremely strong and extremely heavy. When the guys come to cut these, they'll be cutting them below the main beam. We can't cut above that, because that means we're leaving half the rig behind. Yep. So that's the lowest beam, so we need to cut the legs as low as possible. I'm helping the team on the rig make the final cuts so the tower can drop. So what we're doing now is we're preparing this back leg by cutting through the four gussets. We don't want to cut through too much because we don't want to compromise this in this high wind. We got to wait till the wind dies down and then do the final cut. Everything's been cut except the front left leg and everyone's been evacuated off the rig down to the safe zone on the ground, leaving behind only the top man burner who's gonna make the final cut. The top man burner cuts the final section of support away, then he goes deep inside the rig to safety and gives the all clear. The excavators are gonna to begin to pull. When they do, that whole derrick is coming down in one big piece. The derrick is the last major component to be removed. The Brent Delta has been reduced to scrap, worth up to $5 million as recycled metal. 